All right, Jacob, take you, Caitlin, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. Storm in the night time. I, Caitlin, take you, Jacob, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. Wonderful, the wonderful heart that you have for us and everyone. Jake, you are so blessed. You are on the receiving end of that big heart. Stunned into valley, holding your eyes closed. Jake, you're one of the very best friends God could have. And knowing that, Caitlin, I can tell you he will always be there for you all the very best times and through the not so good times that life brings along. I want you both to remember always to cherish, to love, support one another. Marriage is a great journey and it requires lots of effort, patience, and a great deal of understanding for sure. I have no doubt the two of you have what it takes to have a lifetime of happiness together. They genuinely make each other smile and their support is unwavering. Jake is always thinking of ways to make Caitlin feel special. He planned a surprise birthday dinner for me and Bree to join them one evening just to make her day more memorable. He carried an engagement ring all the way to Mexico. I have to admit that stressed me out. <laughs> just to propose on the beaches of Cancun. They spend the evenings talking about planting corn or feeding cattle and genuinely enjoy each other's company. It just works. And that is why I am truly excited for both of you and can't, to, can't wait to watch you continue to grow your lives together. So please raise a glass and help me congratulate Jake and Caitlin Densmore. Jacob, take you, Caitlin, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Okay, the repeat after me. I, Caitlin, take you, Jacob, to be my husband. I, Caitlin, take you, Jacob, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. 
I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. May the Lord bless these rings which you will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Amen. Caitlin received this ring. Caitlin received this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Jacob received this ring. Jacob received this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and my fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. introduced herself to me and we've remained friends for over a decade. We supported each other through college scholarship, our agricultural degrees, and even living together at 4016 Snowy Owl Drive in Columbia. We ran the halls of Alpha Gamma Rho and told everyone we met that we'd be made of honors in each other's wedding and here it is coming to fruition. I treasure my friendship with Caitlin because it's not one that requires a lot of work. It's natural and easy. When Caitlin first told me that she had started dating Jake, whom we'd both known since college, I saw a lot of those same characteristics for them. Being together looks so natural and easy. They genuinely make each other smile and their support is unwavering. Jake is always thinking of ways to make Caitlin feel special. He planned a surprise birthday dinner for me and Bree to join them one evening just to make her day more memorable. He carried an engagement ring all the way to Mexico. I have to admit, that stressed me out. <laughs> Just to propose on the beaches of Cancun. They, uh, they generally make each other smile. Jake can wax and shine his prized trucks, and Caitlin can tend to the most beautiful garden. Jake can go for early morning gym sessions, and Caitlin can prepare her kale smoothies and work <laughs> on her yoga moves. Jake can remind people or can remind Caitlin that it's time to pack for vacation, but Caitlin can make sure they meet at least two people um, on their way to the terminal that she knows. They spend the evenings talking about planting corn or feeding cattle and genuinely enjoy each other's company. It just works, and that is why I am truly excited for both of you and can't, to, can't wait to watch you continue to grow your lives together. So please raise a glass and help me congratulate Jake and Caitlin Densmore. All right, next up we have the best man, Stephen. All right. All right, uh, good evening, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Stephen Jackson. For those of you that do, You've got every right to be concerned. Right? <laughs> I have the honor of being Jake's best man. I want to start off by saying what a beautiful day and a special day it is for the two of you. Jake and Caitlin, you both look absolutely amazing. <coughs> you really do. <laughs> I've known Jake 
probably his whole life. I've seen him go through several different phases throughout his life. But I can say one thing for sure. I have never seen him as happy and in love as he is with, with Caitlin. The first time I met Caitlin, of all places that we could have taken her in town here, we went to Ray's Bar, <laughs> also known as the R Bar. It's a dumb. <laughs> For those of you familiar, I'm just shaking your head right now in disgust. For some reason unknown to anyone, I started talking to an old man. A really old man. He, uh, he made it known to me that he was an owner and breeder of some very expensive horses. I then let him know that I too was an owner of some, some of the finest horses in the Tri-County region and had sold several that win big money all over the country. I don't know anything about horses. <laughs> and uh, I ended up introducing him to my sister. It was Caitlin. I don't have any sisters. I got three brothers. She was a veterinarian. Her practice focused on the equine side of things. And she had bought and sold a lot of high-powered horses and was currently looking for someone to buy, or someone to buy in with her on some some better genetics, <laughs> get some big power in town, <laughs> and uh, gonna take her program to the next level. Well, Caitlin never missed a beat. And started talking to him like she was very interested in what he had to say. <laughs> Moments later, that poor old man was looking forward to her calling in days ahead to sit down and discuss genetics and how we build the the next powerhouse bloodline that no one had ever seen in their life. For those of you that know Caitlin, know that she is one of the easiest people to talk to, extremely outgoing, so for all this to happen should be no surprise to anyone that knows her. I doubt any of this nonsense ever would have happened had I not pushed her into this. It was against her will. But thankfully for all involved, I've never seen that man ever again. <laughs> One of the first things involving Jake that, that kind of sticks in my mind took place in 2009, shortly after Jenny and I got married. I had an old Chevrolet truck. Jake thought he needed it. And I was happy to help him out with it. This particular truck was anything but nice. There was not a straight body panel on this thing. And uh, I'll never forget the look of disgust. Why is this happening on Kim? Kim's face. <laughs> this sweet mother. Uh, she, uh, when she brought him to pick this truck up, you know, she wasn't impressed. <laughs> Later on, Jake sold that truck to somebody else in town. We lost everything. A few years later, uh, Jake, uh, he sold that truck to somebody else, a friend, another friend of ours, and then bought it back, the same truck. <laughs> then I ended up buying that same truck back again. <laughs> so we have both owned that, that same truck twice. Uh, since that day, Jake and I have traded back and forth old trucks, newer trucks, multiple times and driven states away to drag old square body Chevrolets home. I'm not sure if I have influenced or fueled his love for square body trucks, but if I have, Caitlin, I apologize for that. Uh, <clears throat> Jake, you're one of the very best friends. Guy could have. And knowing that, Caitlin, I can tell you he will always be there for you through all the very best times and through the not so good times that life brings along. I want you both to remember always to cherish, love, support one another. Marriage is a great journey and it requires lots of effort, patience great deal of understanding for sure. 
I have no doubt the two of you have what it takes to have a lifetime of happiness together. So everybody, grab your drink. For those of you who don't have one, bar is right over there. <laughs> Familiarize yourself with it. Jake and Caitlin, may your marriage be filled with endless love, laughter, happiness, at old Chevrolet trucks. <laughs> Congratulations. Those of you that don't know Stephen, you, you've got a good taste of him tonight. Steve, we appreciate you very much. Caitlin is, uh, Caitlin and my other daughter, Aunt Chloe, are here tonight. Hello? Hey. Kim and I didn't have any girls but we gained two of the very best. And Caitlin is a sweetheart. We love her dearly. She's a great fit for Jake. We appreciate everybody coming. Enjoy tonight and let's celebrate these kids. Thank you very much. Well, again, welcome to everyone. Thank you for being here tonight to celebrate this fabulous celebration for these two very special people. And as the mother of the bride, it gives me great joy to just congratulate them and to know the wonderful people they are and the life they are going to have together. I want to thank all of you for coming. Thank all of you who've worked so hard to decorate this, the family, the friends coming together, the Walmart runs, flower arrangements, the, the ribbons to, to all of it, the baking. I hope you enjoyed the dessert bar. Um, I thank all the people who have um, helped with setting up and planning and for the wedding party, the friends that you have been to, the two of them, the support and special friendships you have is the reason you are here with them and that is so meaningful and not to be forgotten. And I, I thank God for bringing those two together and crossing their paths because they are meant for each other. So Kaylin, I'm so proud of you, the amazing woman you are, and the wonderful, the wonderful heart that you have for others and everyone. And Jake, you are so blessed that you are on the receiving end of that big heart. <clears throat> and Jake, I'm so fond of you. I've come to know the wonderful person you are with the gentle spirit, the kind, caring heart, the fun personality, along with Caitlin's. And the solid rock that you are that will weather any storms that come in your life as an anchor. And I just know the two of them are going to have a wonderful life together on this journey. I wish you the best. Love, laughter, happiness forever after. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you both. And thank you all for being here. Celebrate, dance, and have a great time. Hey everybody, I will keep this short. I just want to say thank you on behalf of both of us. Thank you for being here. Thank you to our moms. Thank you to our aunts. Um, this couldn't have gone so smoothly and looks so beautifully without your guys' help. So we love each and every one of you dearly. We can't wait to get around and try to talk to every single one of you, have good conversations. Um, just thank you it, from the bottom of our heart. We love every one of you and we cherish our relationship with you. So thank you for being here. So we will um, gonna continue eating for a few more moments and then we'll do our first dances and then we will party all night. So drinks over there, surf bar there, help yourself. So, to be continued.